Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Dr. Gomati. In this video, I'm going to explain what is Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central Functional Consultant exam, how to achieve that exam, that is how to clear the exam, X, that is MB800 exam, what are all the important um, area which you should concentrate on and everything all about scheduling and everything. Let us see. So this is the link for MB800 exam. So once if you click here, you it will take you to the MB800 exam link. So you can find the complete information about who should write this exam, for whom this exam will be really useful. Okay. So what is the exam all about? You can find the complete details here. Okay. So you will by the end of uh, completing this particular learning path you will be learning you will be knowing that how to set up a core functionality and modules and migrating data to a business central and the so how you can uh, configure role center including adapting insights queues actions styles reports charts extend and extend business central by using microsoft power platform components everything okay you can just read it here so you will play a functional consultant role so even if you are a technical consultant by completing this exam by learning this exam you will come to know the complete complete pack of business central that is you will become a techno functional so if you are a technical person if you are a functional person this will definitely useful for you so once if you scroll down you can see that you have a study guide here okay mb 800 study guide once if you click here it will prompt you to download it will download the a file will be downloaded so this is the file okay so what is the purpose of this document they'll be telling like how to earn the certification certification renewal method microsoft, microsoft profile passing score what is the passing score so you should earn 70 percentage okay and uh, what is the sandbox exam i will show you um other than that like if you want to take the practice exam you can do it okay and uh, the complete exam is objective based exam okay so we can you can schedule your exam through online you can even attend the exam through online so there are two ways to attend either you can attend the exam through online that you will be uh, always uh, in the video your video should be on okay so throughout the exam or else you can uh, schedule your exam in the nearby center anywhere nearby center so two things are possible they may update often okay so here you can see that this exam was updated on september 26 2022 and you can see the complete details section for the exam. If this exam isn't available in your preferred language, you can request for the language. Okay. And these are all the skills which are measured. So first one is set up business central. That is 20 to 25 percentage is given to set up business central. So how I will learn. You can ask the question how you can learn. So here you can see how to set up a business central. So once if you scroll down, you can see the complete learning path for this okay so you have get started with microsoft dynamics business central deploy and configure microsoft dynamics business central work with set up uh, microsoft uh, uh, dynamics 365 business central for reporting so if you click on see more you can see okay you can find that these two learning path are to set up a microsoft dynamics 365 business central so once if you click on any so you can see that this is a getting started with the business central so here you have three modules and this is a beginner level okay once if you click here okay once if you click start you can see here that what are all how many hours it will take approximately so it will take three hours 14 minutes to complete this one specific learning path okay so three hours 13 minutes you have three modules which means every module you have to spend at least one hour to complete the module okay so start your free dynamics 365 business central this is your first module so it covers nearly 54 minutes and eight units it have okay 
so you have exercise in every every individual learning path every individual module you have an exercise if you see here this is the second one this is a second uh, module you have to spend one hour 50 minutes for that this is an approximate time okay it may take it may take some time some more time if your internet is not in a good bandwidth or not not in a good speed sometimes it may be very faster if you can understand easily okay so you can see that there will be an exercise okay if you click on the exercise there will be a detailed description of the exercise okay and then you will be having a you will be having a um, over, that is you have you will be having a check your knowledge that is there will be a, a mcq based sample questions where you will find whatever you have learned in the previous um, uh, link no they'll be asking the question on that okay and the last module will be for 30 minutes fine you can see how much it is so uh, he, they, uh, there will be exercises almost in every module and ev exercises will be of clear steps. That will be step by step explanation for the exercise. Uh, you can see here and explore. Okay. So here you can see you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 learning paths. Okay. So you can see here you have 12 learning paths and in every learning path you have a module. So the first learning path have three modules, second learning path have eight modules, so 11, 14, 17, 22, 25, 27, 32, 37, 40, 44, and 47. Okay, so 47 modules are there. So 12 learning path and 47 modules. So you can split accordingly. Of course, every module will not exceed more than two hours. Okay, we can just calculate 47 modules and uh, every module just keep it's not mandatory that every module will be of two hours okay sometimes it will be of approximately uh, one and a half hours or um, 30 minutes okay so you can see here if you click on recon um, reconcile bank accounts in microsoft dynamics 365 business central so the complete three modules is of only one hour 46 minutes okay so you can see here it's 39 39 minutes so 12 12 modules sorry 12 learning path 47 modules and just approximately keep for one module it takes uh, one hour or two hours okay approximate time so you can calculate accordingly okay so it is like nearly 94 hours right so uh, you will take it will take 94 hours to complete so how you can easily split up at least if you can spend two hours a day then you can complete all the modules within 47 days okay if you can spend one hour a day then you can um sp you it will take 94 days so you can plan accordingly how i used to learn is what i used to learn based on the module okay based on the learning path so for example if i take if i wanted to start learning mb800 exam so i'll be uh, taking the I, I have 12 modules right so i will spend um i will go with module wise so i will first select i have to finish this three modules okay that is first learning path on that particular day so i will i will um, set my goals like that okay and then if you click on this okay so if i click this you can see you have uh, you have three hours 14 minutes so set an alarm that you have to complete it within three hours 14 minutes and then start working on it so I'll be completing module wise okay and i will not take uh, continuous days sometimes you know uh, i'll be taking alternate days if i uh, start learning on Mon monday i will complete one module and the next day i will keep it for revision 
okay i will just see you may think that this revision is only for 10th standard or 12th standard um, uh, school kids okay but it's not even we have to revise what we learn because we are going to apply for we are going to appear for the certification so we should understand what is the concept is this is not like mugging up i will just over just overview like what are the things which are there and i will relate with some scenarios okay so like this i'll be learning so if you want to learn like that you can think about it or else if you have your own style of learning please proceed so i always recommend before you proceed learning this please sign in with your microsoft account that is the registered microsoft account if you have an outlook account register sign in with that and proceed if you have your organization account sign in and proceed proceed if you have a gmail account if you are using that account in order to write your exams sign in and proceed because you are learn everything will be recorded over there so that is what my recommendation so once you complete all these things okay you can see here so here they have mentioned like that here you can see this is uh, for set up business central they are giving 20 to 25 percentage configure financials they are giving 30 to 35 percentage okay configure sales they are giving only least percentage for that comparing to other perform business central operation so you can complete all the modules first and then just go and check whether you have the uh, um, whether you can recollect what are the things which are there in this particular module and they are giving <coughs> the complete detail so if you go with the functional group okay that is a set up a business central okay functional groups set up business central 20 uh, 20 to 25 percentage so here you can see that <coughs> here you can see that this is uh, they have mentioned for 20 to 25 percent so what are the modules which are covered here what are the topics they are asking for set up business central okay and this is the second one configure financials what are all the concepts which are they which they will be covering okay configure sales and purchasing set up inventory configure master data so everything they have given everything in very clear manner everything clearly and how you can study so you have all the documentations here if you wanted to ask a question you can raise a question in the forum this is a community support and you can follow the microsoft learn and you can also ask for the self paced learning path so which which is what i have told you or else you also have instructor led uh, courses so you can see here that you have uh, what you have all these things you can you have two ways to prepare okay so one is online free and the second one is instructor led paid okay if you want you have to select it you have to get the uh, uh, details and you can just avail the paid <coughs> instructor led so that will be a, so you can find the learning partner that will be a learning partner for this okay so they will be providing you these are all the learning partners which are all available in united states of america if you belong to you have to select in which country you are and if you are uh, in canada then you can find the relevant uh, um, uh, relevant learning partner okay and then you can get the instructor like uh, instructor led training so this is also possible in this so <coughs> just go ahead and start scheduling you can also you can schedule your exam here this is what the cost of uh, the exam okay most of your the company will uh, reimburse you for this exam or else sometime you know um, microsoft will give you a watch voucher you can just check if you have any connections so here you can see that if you want to see in your uh, currency then you can select it here okay you can select and check for uh, the currency which is related to your uh, company so that is also that is your uh, country and then if you click on schedule exam it will take you uh, to a <coughs> to a link where you can schedule your exam so you have to log in so if you wanted to know how to schedule your exam please let me know i'll be telling you the complete uh, steps to schedule an exam right from the uh, uh, that is the registration till paying the exam fee i hope you find this video useful so 
i'll be discussing about various uh, uh, certification exam which you can do not only in microsoft also in google also in amazon everything so stay tuned take care bye bye